If you've been following gut health trends lately, you've probably heard the buzz about a probiotic called Ackermansia. It's the new kid on the block in the probiotic world and supplement companies are marketing it as the next big breakthrough for digestive health and weight management and even metabolic conditions. But is Ackermansia really worth the hype? Let's dive into what we know, what we don't know, and most importantly, what I've seen in my own practice treating patients with complex digestive issues and giving them Ackermansia. Well, what is Ackermansia? Ackermansia is a naturally occurring bacterium that's found in the mucus layer of the gut lining. And research has shown that people with higher levels of Ackermansia often have a better gut barrier function and they have lower inflammation and healthier metabolism. Now, unlike familiar probiotics, such as things like lactobacillus and bifidobacterium, Ackermansia is a strict anaerobe, which means it doesn't grow easily outside the body. And that's why until recently, you couldn't take it as a supplement. It just wasn't possible to manufacture it in a shelf-stable form. Now, why is Ackermansia suddenly popular? Well, the interest in Ackermansia exploded after studies linked it to things like improved gut barrier function and reduced metabolic inflammation and potential benefits for insulin sensitivity and weight regulation. And it also found associations with lower risk of obesity and type 2 diabetes. And most of this research has been in animals or very small human trials. But of course, that hasn't stopped supplement companies from jumping in now and trying to benefit from that research. And so now they offer Ackermansia products and claim that they will help with these problems. Now, can you test for Ackermansia? And the answer is yes. Yes, comprehensive stool testing, and this is the kind of DNA-based microbiome analysis that we do at the IBS Treatment Center on literally every patient, that can measure Ackermansia levels. And this testing can help identify whether or not your gut microbiome contains much of this particular bacterium. But here's something that's really important. Just because your Ackermansia levels are low doesn't necessarily mean that taking it as a probiotic is going to help or make any difference at all. In fact, low levels might be a result and often are a result of other underlying gut imbalances and not the root cause of those issues. Now, what's my clinical experience with Ackermansia? So as a doctor who has worked with literally thousands of patients from all over the world to resolve IBS and gut barrier issues and other digestive disorders, I've had plenty of opportunities to see whether the latest probiotic trends or other supplement trends actually really help in real life. And here's my experience. I have never seen Ackermansia supplementation make a meaningful difference for a patient. And that's not to say that it never will or that research won't eventually prove a benefit for certain people in certain situations. But in my clinical experience, the results have been unimpressive. So here's the problem with the one bug fix type of approach. The gut microbiome is a vast complex ecosystem with literally billions of bacteria and fungi and other microbes interacting with things like your diet and your immune system and the environment that's in there and trying to fix a chronic digestive issue by adding a single species is like trying to repair a rainforest by planting one type of tree. So real results come from identifying and addressing the root cause or causes. Things like diet triggers and infections and overgrowths and inflammation and other imbalances that disrupt the gut. And that's where I've seen profound improvements in my patient's health, not from the latest trendy probiotic. So the bottom line of Ackermansia is this, it's new and it's interesting, but research in humans is still in its early stages 
Now, but you should know that you can test your own acromanzia levels through advanced stool testing, but the hype exceeds the evidence and especially the marketing claims around acromanzia. So my verdict is I've never seen it actually truly make any kind of significant difference in a patient. And I'm not impressed, at least up to this point. So if you're dealing with chronic digestive problems, acromanzia probably isn't going to be your miracle cure, unfortunately. But I'd love to hear about your experience in the comments section below. Now instead, you really need a personalized approach that looks at your unique microbiome and identifies under underlying issues and treats the real cause or causes of your symptoms. And you can get that at the IBS Treatment Center, which has been helping people from around the world via telemedicine since 2005. And if you found this video helpful and useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more honest information about your health and the world of health. And remember to take good care of your body. It's the only place that you have to live. Thank you for watching. We create informative videos like this weekly. So if you enjoyed it, please help our channel by sharing a screenshot or the link to the video on Facebook or Instagram or your favorite social media. And be sure to tag me wherever you post and let me know what you liked about the video and what topics you'd like me to discuss in the future. If you visit our website at ibsstreamingcenter.com, we're currently offering a free ebook on how to beat IBS. So be sure to check that out. It's time to take control of your digestive problems and get your life back. I'd also appreciate it if you could subscribe to our channel here, like this video, and leave a comment or question below. I'll do my best to read and respond to all of them. Thank you, and until next time.